Хорошо. Good evening viewers, uh, welcome to another auction on the Drakenfell Shards hosted by the Danish Knuckleheads. Um, as you can see if you're viewing on uh, the internet we've got quite a few people here this evening and uh, I've also got uh, Gilmore uh, joining me on the uh, chat and I think we're about to get underway in the next minute or two. Everyone seems in very good spirits. And it's quite a nice uh, auction tonight. There's plenty of items uh, up, for, up for auction. We'll uh, I'll actually I'll get a um, a book so we can have a look what uh, what we've got. User joined your channel. Hi guys. Sound muted. Okay, so I've got a program up and I'll just keep that visible at point so we can see what the items are as we go through. Thank <laughs> you. 
And tonight the auction is very slightly different from the usual um, in that you might have noticed that we're, we're a little bit later starting and that's because uh, bags have been handed out tonight. I'll, uh, I'll just see if I can get one and I'll open it up and show you what is inside. Okay, so as you can see, uh, there is a free bag for everybody, one with a statue saying I was there for the Knuckleheads 30th auction, and there's a special cake that's been made for everybody to take away, a souvenir, but because it's the 30th auction, there's also a Tombola ticket. Now this Tombola ticket is number 22. And just in case people uh, decide to turn up with their own book with number 22, there is a verification key inside each book uh, that we can verify against the database. So if you're thinking about that, don't bother because uh, it won't work. <laughs> um, but uh, I won't say too much about it. I don't think. I think it's been kept a secret. But I will say, you know, there are some very decent prizes to be won tonight. Uh, that's that's all I'll say. But. Uh, it's it's a very good uh, prize fund, I will say that. So I'll hand this bag back so you can get handed out to anybody that might want one. And as we go through the bags, I think we'll uh, we'll then once this section's finished and all the bags are handed out, then we'll uh, start the auction. Sound resumed.
and we're underway. Julie is just uh, welcoming everybody to the 30th auction. And Julie's just mentioning the tombola that we've set up. And then Julie's just explaining how the tombola is going to work. So in a minute, she's going to set up a dealer to draw out the numbers. And there it is. So there are seven prizes to give away this evening, seven very good prizes. And there's just a couple of people that need bags. Uh, it's well worth getting one. And to sell the remaining tickets, Julie has put the rest of the the, uh, the remaining tickets um, on the vendor, and obviously that significantly increases people's uh, 
chance of winning if they buy a book or more books and as you can see everybody's uh, really trying to buy books quickly now There's still a few left. That's one of them. And people have actually stopped buying the tickets for some reason. I think they're waiting for the cooldown. One minute cooldown for putting something on the window. Ah, yes. Just the last six, five, four, three, Two, one, and Darky got the last book. Okay, so now we're going to start the uh, Tombola and the first prize up is the most knowledgeable person replica robe. This gives you a hit point increase of 5, but much more importantly uh, it's dyeable, so you can dye it uh, whatever colour you like to match your character. And the number 13 has come up. Who's got that? <laughs> and it's Pac-Man the Gladiator. Looks like he's got that. And he's won that, simple as that. It's almost very verified, but uh, yeah. There we go, well done to uh, Pac-Man, he's won that. Looks very nice on him too. Okay, straight on to the next prize. Is a Blessed. And that's an item Blessed. That's right, yeah, Gil, not, not a clothing blessed deed, an actual item blessed deed, so it's very nice. Let's see who's won it. And it's a 56. Who's got number 56?
And I think we'll just verify that the ticket's valid and then collect the prize. Okay, the next prize up is um, Lord Blackthorn's fr Throne. It's a fantastic prize. And it's uh, number 80. Whoever's got number 80 is the proud owner of uh, Blackthorn's Throne Replica Deed. And it's Pilar Rosario has won that. Uh, yes, Looney just has to validate the ticket first, of course. And that's been validated, and Rosario's got their um, Lord Blackthorn's throne deed. Right, the next prize up is 10 million gold. Just 10 million gold, just for having the right ticket. So Julie is going to, that's it, auction starter set, I like it. Hopefully the people will spend the money at the auction tonight. And it's 80 again, so we've got a duplicate now. So obviously 80 has already been rolled, so they're going to roll it again. And it's 23 this time. Who has 23? And Roger Waters has got it. And Roger Waters walks away with 10 million gold to spend, hopefully at the auction tonight. Just for turning up. Fantastic.
Okay, the next prize is... Reflective Shadow Pigment. This is fantastic. Um, not available at the moment, or at least any more for the time being. So it's value you should rock it. And the very lucky winner is 68. This is a very nice pigment. And it's Nero. <laughs> show you on screen there's a uh, reflective shadow pigment on a, on a character, the book, uh, the whole outfit, very nice. Certainly one of my favourite dice. And Looney's just validating Nero's ticket. And that's been validated. Fantastic. Well done to Nero. Right, the next prize is... Ah! Oh, I missed what that is. It's under the table, it's a Grizzled, grizzled Mare Statue. Sorry, a Grizzled Mare Statuette. It's 73. <laughs> And it looks like it's Neen Luna that's won that. So I think Luna's just going to validate the uh, tickets the right one and then Neen Luna can get the present. And we're on to the final prize now, which is a Soulstone token. Fantastic prize to win there. Let's see who the winner of the uh, Soulstone is. And it's number 37.
And is it blue gold? And that's the end of the, uh, the Tombola session. I hope everybody enjoyed it. It was certainly uh, very profitable for some of the players tonight. And obviously some people aren't so happy about uh, not winning. Okay, as uh, Julie just mentioned, we're 30 minutes behind because we took a bit of time out to to do this, so I think we're going to move on to the auction. As you can see, the first item tonight is going to be 60,000 leather, um, up for auction with an opening bid of 2 million and a bid increase of just 10,000 gold. I'll move the book out of the way for the moment while the auction goes on. Okay, so we're starting the uh, auction for the 60,000 pieces of leather. And Nicodemus has already started. Nicodemus really wants the uh, leather here, keeps bumping the bids up. Oh, just in time there, Smoggy up the bid and then Seridan upped it again to 4 million. Nicodemus has come back with 4.2 
Oh, just in time. Sarah didn't come in with 4.25. And that's sold to Seridan for 4.25 million. And the next item, 10,000 pieces of spine leather, an opening bid of £500,000 with a bid increase of 10,000 gold. And for some reason smoggy bid 550 to start with instead of 500 but it doesn't look like oh no Nero's coming with 560 We're straight up to 700k and then Nero's just bid 750 And that's sold to Smuggy for 775k. Okay, the next item up is five dull copper runics, opening bid 100,000 with a bid increase of 50,000. And Agnes has started. Agnes Lad. We're already up to 200k. Serencene's put the bid up to 300k. And we're all the way up to 600k now.
So I just had to point out there that uh, Saren had bid 600k and then Smoggy came in with 600 and Saren had to up it to 650 but uh, Smoggy's bid was actually invalid because it wasn't increasing the bid. Okay, so we're going to be moving on shortly, um, just while that's sorted out, to five new shadow runics. So the opening bid on those is 100k, and the bid increment is 50. Let's see how much they go for. User disconnected from your channel. Okay, there's quite a popular start on these. We're already up to 600k. And Smoggy's up to 1 million. Oh, we're up to 1.05 million. 1.1 million. 1.25 million. So Smoggy's just up the bit at the last minute there, 1.6, and Nero's immediately countered that with 1.65. Right, what are we going on there? And Saracen's coming at the last minute with 1.7 million. And the bids are flying up again, up to 2 million now for these hammers.
and they've sold to Nero for 2.05 million. And just while they're setting up for the next item, I'll uh, just show you on the program tonight. It's a barnacle covered painting with an opening bid of 20,000 gold and a bid increase of 20,000 gold. I think we have some bronze for next first one. Oh, yep, yeah, sorry, you're alright, Gil. I, uh, I missed those. Just pull those up. Yep, five new bronze runic hammers, 200,000 gold opening bid with an increase of 50,000. So these are flying up already, 1.5 million. Seren Sian already uh, bid 2 million. We're up to 3.6 million, 3.7 million, 4 million. Five million, 5.1 million. Going once at 5.1 million. Going twice. 5.15 last minute bid from Smoggy. And Seren Seen's put that up to 5.2 million. And they're sold to Seren for 5.5 million. Five point five million actually. Five point five million, yep. I thought that's what I said, maybe I uh, said something. I was thinking something else. Okay, so the next item is now the barnacle covered painting for 20,000 with a bid increase of 20,000. And Agnes Ladder's done a starting bid, and Smoggy has immediately put the bid up to 100k, and it's creeping up 120, 140.
and we're up to 220. And it's a popular one, 350k so far. I don't know if that's possible with an increment of 20, but obviously it's more than that, so it should be okay. 370. Going once, 350. Sold to Smoggy for 350,000 gold. Okay, the next item up is actually listed as a coffin, opening bid 100,000 gold, bid increase of 100,000, but I believe this is actually just one part of the coffin, one third of the coffin. So we'll get to see that on screen in a moment. So it looks like the lower part of the coffin, the lower third, the legs. Let's see if anybody wants to buy that to either complete or start a collection for uh, coffin pieces. Yeah, it's reasonably popular. 300k we're at, 400k. So I'm going once at 400k to murder. Going twice. Sold to murder for four hundred K. That was a fairly quick item, so the next item up for auction is an essence of battle recipe scroll, so it'll enable the uh, person who eats the scroll to be able to craft essence of battle with the right ingredients. Opening bid fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> Okay, I've just highlighted that on screen there, the recipe scroll for Essence of Battle. And immediately the bids have jumped straight up from 70k to 250. Oh, and Smoggy's bump jumped in with 280, but Nico's come straight back with 320, 350, 400.
And it looks like Nico Demas has backed out. Doesn't want to pay any more than I think it's worth. And that looks like it's sold to Smoggy for 460. Okay, another recipe scroll up next. It's a recipe for the Pendant of the Magi. Uh, opening bid 90,000 gold with a bid increase of 10,000 gold. There we go, I'm just hovering the cursor over it so you can see it as you're watching the stream. And the bids are trickling up here. Oh, little leap up to 200 there. And Murder's come up with 300 bid. 350 now from Time Twister. Murder's bidding zero for it. And Seridan's coming with 600, Smoggy straight back with 700k. This is obviously quite a sort after recipe scroll. It's gone up to 1.1 million. And that's sold to Smoky for 1.1 million. Okay, I'll just tell you the next item while I'm sorting that one out. Um, the next item is a raised garden bed, opening bid 9 million with a bid increase of half a million. Yeah, Julie's just pointing out actually that this does require the rustic theme pack, can't be used if you haven't got it. And people do actually really want this as a start, we're already up to 11 million. 13 million. So I can see this going quite high. Laura with 15 million. Darky with 16 million. And murders come back with seventeen. 
And we're up to 19 million now. I don't know how much these go for in game, but I guess it's around about 20 million, I think. And we're up to the 20. Game one to 20 million. Sold to Pillar for 20 million. I think that was the biggest auction of the evening. Quite a high price. And we're coming a little bit uh, closer down to earth again now. We're at uh, Fabled Fishing Net which is the white one uh, and that's going to be an opening bid of half a million with a bid increase of 50,000 gold there we go so you can see it there the fabled fishing net and we've started already Oh, and it, I thought it was going to sell then at the asking at the opening price, but it's gone up to five fifty. Kurgan has bid five fifty. Sold five fifty. And the next item that's about to come up for auction is Souls of Providence. Now, these are lucky sandals that give you 80 luck, and they're opening bid of 1 million with a bid increase of 100,000. I imagine these are going to go for around about three to four, maybe five at a push. We'll see. Although, as we've seen on previous um, auctions, things can not sell that you'd expect to sell or sell for. You know, a very increased price over their normal value. And there we can see a bit of 1.1 1 .1 million, uh, 1 million, sorry. Then we're up to 1 1.2, 1 1.5. Oh, they've gone up to 4 million. As you can probably see, I had a couple of bids there 3.5. But I don't really want to go any higher than that. We're up to 4.1. Four point three million. Four point five million. It's quite a lot of money for these. Four point six. 
5 million. Up until just recently there were a couple of pairs on Luna vendors for around about 3 to 3.5 three million. So it's quite interesting to see them going so high here. And they've sold Seren for 5 million. And up next is uh, the Hephaestus shield. It's not clear whether it's the gargoyle or human one, but it's starting at a very low 500,000 gold with a bid increase of 100,000 gold. So we'll see how much this goes for. And it's the Gargoyles version. Very nice shield. And we've already jumped straight up to... And as somebody's pointed out, that you can imbue the uh, gargoyle away to back to human. Uh. 1.5 million. 1.6 million. And I've got to admit, I didn't know that you could uh, change the uh, type of artifact by re imbuing it. And we're up to 9 million. We're up to 9.1 and that's sold for 10 million to murder Okay, the next item about to come up for auction is One Forged Pardon um, which enables you to remove a murder count um, and the opening bid on that is 1 million with a bid increase of 100,000 gold And there we go, I've just highlighted it so you can see it there.
and Smuggy started with 1 million. No increases so far, it's going once. Oh, Wind Swin's coming with 1.1, 1 .1. I missed that. And we're up to 1.2 And sold to Smoggy for 1.2 Smoggy's buying quite a lot tonight. And I'll just quickly show you the next item, which is 100 relic fragments, opening bid of 1 million gold, with a bid increase of 100,000. And you can see them there, and we're already up to 1.2 million. Obviously, very uh, popular. One point six million. One point seven. And Agnes Lad with one point eight. And Smoggy's bid two million. And Marilina pointed out that you can get them cheaper, but uh, this is auction. Okay, the next item will be for a hitching post, opening bid 200,000 with a bid increase of 10,000. Um, so we will see, I think it's not a rechargeable one, it might be the um, the proper one, so we'll have a look. It is a proper one. Oh, yeah, it's the proper one. And well, that seems like a reasonably low starting price for this item. And the bid shot right up there from uh, just a mere 400k, we're now on 3.5 million. 3.6 million.
4 million. Four point one million. Four point three million were up to now. Up to four point four million. Four point five million. And sold to Cal, that's me, for 4.6 million. Okay, so that was the hitching. Next item is an ancestral gravestone, opening bid of 100,000 gold with a bid increase of just 10,000 gold. <coughs> that singing bowl comes up with some hilarious noises. We're up to 200k already. <laughs> and we're up to 750k. Someone's brought them mountain just apologizing. <laughs> oh, 
And we're up to 800k on the Ancestral Gravestone token. <laughs> and 810 seems to be slowing down the bid still. Yes. And last minute jump straight up to ninety uh, sorry nine hundred K. Now we're up to 920,000 from Valen, 930. Just looking at the bidding, I noticed Seren C in there, and it looks like he's got his hand on that cake. It's his, nobody else is getting that. And that's been sold for one million. And I'll just tell you about the next item. So we've got uh, an armor engraving tool, and that's an opening bid of 50,000 with a bid increase of just 2,000 gold. So we'll see what that goes for. And there we can see the token. And the bids flew up with the starting bid of just 50,000 gold, an increase of 2, we're up to 2.2 .2 million now. Two and a half million. Three million gold.
and that's been sold for 3 million gold. Pillar. Okay, so that sold really well. So the next item is a fallen log. Um, something tells me this might be the same seller. It's 20,000 opening bid with a bid increase of just 2,000 gold. As you can see, we've got the fallen log token and somebody started and we straight up to 100, 150. T50, 300, 500. 600 and we're up to a million now And this has gone from a starting bid of 20,000 gold to a bid of 1.3 million gold. So it's a very good auction here. And it's slowed down, we're just creeping up now, 1.37, 1.4. 2 million, somebody's uh, jumped straight up to 2 million. Need to try and keep the pace going with this. Oh, is anybody going to outbid the murder? 2.1 2.5 I think murder is going to try and put us all out of our misery by ending the auction for us 3 million Three point five million. And that's been sold to murder for three point five.
Okay, so uh, the fallen log went very for a very good price. So the next item will be a bag for bulk order covers. Opening bid gold. Bid increase of just five thousand gold. I hope we're up to one million. And yeah, to speed this auction up a little bit, Julie's decided to up the increment to 10,000 because it's a little slow. And it's been sold to Rosario for 1.01 million. And the next item I can imagine going for quite a lot of gold. It's a mystical character uh, token, so it'll enable you to increase a character skill to uh, I think it's five skills at 90 skill as long as you don't have um, 200 points already so that's an opening bid of 10 million with an increase of half a million we'll see what this goes for And I think I've read that right, Nicodemus has just bid 40 million. Sound muted. Sound resumed. 50 million we're up to. That was quite a jump to start with there. And we're up to 51 million, 52 million. These are quite expensive to buy off the Origin store though, so it's uh, not really that surprising that it's going for so much. It's up to 60 million. 65 million.
and Julia just asking around before she starts ending the bids at 67 million with bait going twice Sold to bay it at 67 million gold. That's a great auction, very expensive. Possibly the most expensive uh, item I've seen sell on here. Hello! And coming up next will be. Uh, We've already sold one of these tonight, so uh, we're going to sell five for Pardon now. Opening bid of five million with a bid increase of one hundred thousand gold. Apologise there, I just had to uh, disappear unexpectedly, but I'm back now. <laughs> so we're still on the forged pardons, um, 7 million. It's actually quite interesting that earlier in the auction we sold one for a little over one million, but five are actually going for 7.1. And they're sold, <coughs> smug room.
think Kush was a little put out there because he didn't actually um, bid, but he did actually say here, so he wanted a bid, but the rules are that you must state the amount that you want to bid. But we're on to the next item, which is a mana phasing orb. We can see that it is it's got stamina regeneration one, defense chance increase five, spell damage increase five, and lower mana cost six. And we're up to 1.8 million. And that sold for 2.15 million to me. Probably played a little high for that, but I do want one, so it's worth it. Okay, the next item up will be an exceptional fishing pole. We'll bring you details of that when it's locked down. And the opening bid is 50,000 gold with a bid increase of 10,000 gold. And it's quite a nice pole. It's spell channeling. It's got uh, spell damage increase of 7, faster cast recovery 2. It has got a faster casting penalty of 1, um, but it gives you a lower mana cost of 7 as well, and also a lower reagent cost of 18. So, quite nice. So, we're already up to 70k. And it's slowly uh, creeping up now, 300k.
and Rinswin didn't run away from that deal. He won it for 450k. Okay, and the item up next is a deed to Davies Locker, um, and the opening bid is 5 million gold, with a bid increase of 100 million. It'll be interesting to see how much this finally goes for. Yeah, so this is an eight year veteran award, so I guess people under eight years won't be able to use it. And just can get a friend to place it for them. Ah, right, okay. And we've jumped straight up from 5 million to 15 and a half, 16, 20 million. So, uh, 21 million. 25 million. 30 million. 35 million. Forty million. I uh, I was expecting this to go high, but I've got to admit I wasn't expecting this high. This is really good. So. Kush asking if people are selling stuff during the auction. We've got a bit of a rebuke by Julia. And Lugor's just up the bid 41 million, and Rosario's come straight back with 42. Sold to Pillar for 42 million gold. That's the second of our really high sellers tonight. And as you can see, the next item is somewhat cheaper. A gorilla statuette is next up for the offering, it will be on the table shortly. And the opening bid will be 50,000 with a bid increase of 1,000 gold. Okay, and there it is, the Gorilla Statuette, first year veteran reward.
and Agnes Ladd starts the bidding at 50,000, Smoggy's put it up to 50,001. This could be a long auction. Old Dirty's coming in a little late there. So fifty one thousand. Fifty five. We're up to sixty K. It's quite interesting that we've got this eye on this statue. Saren Sian wants it seventy K. And that's sold to Saren for seventy K. Okay, and just while that's been sorted out, I'll uh, let you know what's coming up. We've got a leather dye tub uh, for 50,000 gold with a bid increase of 5,000 gold. And already we've got a bid from Safira for the asking price. Starting price even. And Agnes has gone up with 55 and then Safira back with 60. And Agnes Ladd came back with 65, but Safira really wants it, so up to immediately to 70. Souls to Safira for 70,000 gold. So the next item to come onto the table for auction is a sleeping hamster. It's a container. Uh, the opening bid will be 250,000 gold with a bid increase of 10,000 gold. There we go, just showing it locked on the table. Going twice, 250. 
sold for 250k to Agnes Ladd. It's a nice fast auction, let's say we like them. The next item to be put on the table for auction is an ethereal swamp dragon. Uh, opening bid of 2 million and a bid increase of 10,000 gold. So quite a small bidding uh, increment there. I can't remember if these three or four year vet rewards. I'll have a look in a minute. Might be older. Uh, five, five year, I think. Yeah, that's. Uh, Thanks, Gil. Ah, yes, Gil got it right. It's fifth year vet reward. So it can only be used by a player with a five year account. And uh, Julie is just having a little trouble putting it on display properly there, but seems to have sorted it out. So, doesn't look like there's any bidders. Oh, a smoggy start in there, 5 million. Sorry, 2 million. And it's up to 2.5. 2.7. And 3 million. Four million. My prediction, I said five at the start, my prediction was that it would sell for five, but it's already at five now. Five point five or fifty five point five, I think that's a mistake. Yep, we're up to six million, so it may go for much more. And it's going once at 6.5, twice. Sold to Smoggy for 6.5 million. The next item to, that's going to be put on the table shortly is a pair of moonstones in a velvet box. Now moonstones used to be the way one would get between the facets um, without using a moon gate. Um, they don't function anymore, that I'm aware of at least, and uh, they don't spawn at all anymore, so they're quite rare. Um, and someone's obviously put them in a velvet box for display, and the opening bid is 1 million gold with a bid incre increment of just 10,000 gold. So we'll see what these go for. It'll be interesting to see because you don't see them very often.
and because it's a pair, I'm assuming there's one Trammel and one Feluca. And I think to display these, they're going to be put on the vendor, so I'll bring that up shortly, if that's the case, and show you. It's quite a nice box. There we go. So there is one for Luca and one Trommel Moonstone. Quite nice. As Agnes Ladd has just pointed out, it's the collector's edition, it's in the velvet box. So let's see if anybody starts the bid. I'm a sucker for rares, so I'm taking a bid on that. I think this sort of item is it's worth whatever people are willing to pay for it, really, and that's about it. So it's just gone up to 1.2 million. Let's see if it goes up again. I might still have a punt. Yeah, I'm quite surprised to get it for that, so it's sold. Quite interestingly, I wasn't planning on bidding for that when I uh, saw the the program tonight. I uh, just sort of did that on a bit of a whim. Next item up for auction in a moment is a snowy tree, opening bid 200,000 gold, with a bid increment of just 5,000 gold. I believe this is the token again, but we'll see. Ah, no it's not. I've still got the wrong one there, this is the 2004, into 2004 tree. Is anyone going to start? Uh, this might determine whether it sells or not. If it gives cleaner points. Because nobody seems to be interested in it as for Deco.
And I certainly didn't think I'd be buying the snowy tree tonight, but 5,000 points uh, I am collecting now, so it'll come in useful. And coming up shortly is a light of the winter solstice, which I believe is a candle with a bow around it. Opening bid 200k with a bid increase of just 5,000 gold. Yep, so again this is 2004 winter gift. Again, didn't really turn up here tonight to bid on that, but uh, it'll be worth 5,000 points. Next up, I imagine it's from the same seller. It's a festive cactus going for 200,000 gold with a bid increase of 5k. I do have to admit, I didn't envision that I'd be bidding on this. So this one's gone for a little more, it's obviously got a bit more decorative value and that's been sold to Kush for 400,000 gold. And coming up next will be a pile of glacial snow, so it's the blue, bright blue kind. Uh, opening bid of 50,000 gold with a bid increase of 1,000 gold. And I'll show you that in a moment, there we go. This is another Holidays 2004 item. And that's worth 100 points. And the price of this is trickling up quite nicely, 75k we're at now. Uh, 
and that's sold for 75,000 gold. And we'll see in just a moment, the uh, next item will be Snowy Scene of Covetous. So this looks like a crystal ball. Uh, opening bid will be is 150,000 gold with a bid increment of 5,000 gold. Be interesting to see how much this goes for. There we go, so snowy scene of Covetous, looks just like a normal crystal ball, summoning ball, singing ball. And that sold to me for 650k. I'm very happy with that. I don't know how much these are worth, but uh, I do like those. So coming up next will be a Gazer statuette with an opening bid of 900,000 gold. Um, quite surprising. Um, with a bid increase of 100,000 gold. And this is a 50 year veteran reward, so hence the inflated price. And we've got start bid from Agnes Ladd.
and we're up to 1.1 million already. And we're up to 1.2, 1.3 million. And that's ooh, almost sold then for 1.3, but it immediately went up to 1.4, then 1.5. Lugo obviously really wants this. But Fallon really left it to the last minute there. And that's sold to Lugo finally for 1.5 million. The next item I would imagine is going to be quite popular and I'd really like to see how much it goes for. It's a Medusa floor deed. Now this takes up a number of tiles. I'm not sure how many it is. I think it's 4x4 four four maybe or Gil might be able to tell me. Uh, but the opening bid is 10 million gold with a bid increment of 100,000 gold. I think it's 5x5. Five five. Thanks Gil. Oh, straight up to 14, 15 million. Very interesting. Sixteen million. That does seem a lot of gold, but it's a nice tile. Uh, Seventeen million now, murder. We're up to 18 million. Somebody's actually said it's cheap, but I didn't pay that for mine. Oh, 19 million. Twenty million. Quite amazed at this price. I presume that's twenty point one and not two hundred and one. Oh, Dr. Doolittle came in at the very last minute there, 20.3 million. And Roger Waters has come back, 20.4 million. Let's not forget that Roger's already got 10 million towards this from the win on the Tombola earlier. Getting twice at 20.4 million. 
sold to Roger Waters for 20.4 million gold. Okay, the next item should be very interesting. It's a look suit. Uh, it gives a total of 1380 look if I read it right, but we'll see. Uh, t opening bid of 20 million with a bid increase of just 100,000 gold. So we'll take a look at that. I believe on the mannequin, which I can see that Julia's just uh, placed. and it's plate armor and it doesn't include the weapon which is good and it doesn't include jewelry as well or oh, no jewelry, yeah, good point So it's 1330, not 1380, sorry, uh, but it does give you 40 LMC, 44 stamina increase, and it's all 70s resist except for fire, which is just two points under that. So very, very good suit. If you want luck. It looks like powder of fortification has been used on it all as well so it's all at absolutely max durability it would be interesting to see what this actually sells for I mean, just how difficult is it to make one of these, um, Gil? Is it a very rare occurrence for this sort of suit to come together? Oops, somebody's just pointed out that it's actually 35 lower mana cost, not 45. There's a small debate uh, striking up here.
Oh wow. I didn't expect to win that. Very happy about that. I'll stick that on a mannequin somewhere. Okay, coming up next is a burglar's bandana, opening bid of just 10,000 gold, but with a bid increment of 10,000 gold. So I'll bring up the stats for that as soon as it's locked down. As you can see, that gives you uh, three skill improvements, snooping, stealth and stealing, all ten gives you a dex bonus of 5 and it gives you some reasonable, reasonably average resists physical, fire, cold, poison and energy oh, right at the last minute Smoggy came in with 30 And Agnes Ladders counted with 40. And smog is just incremented again to 70k. And that's just sold to Smoggy for 70,000 gold. Okay, the next item up is a bracelet of health, uh, opening bid of 10,000 with a bid increase of 10,000. And we can see it's artifact rarity 11. It is a cursed item, so it's not something you maybe want to carry around any dungeons. Um, hit point increase at 5, but a great hit point regen of 10. So that explains why it's quite cheap. Or five thousand cleanup points. Oh, sorry, Gil, I missed that. Or five thousand cleanup points. Ah, okay. So it is worth it. So that's been sold to Smoggy for thirty k. And that's it for tonight, that's all the items, so um, it's a very good auction tonight. Yeah, so it's nice to see so many people, as usual. Yeah, it's been a really good turnout tonight, which is nice.
And that's it for a, another session. Thanks very much for joining us, everyone who's tuned in to watch. Um, this has been the 30th auction on Drakenfels. And it's been hosted by the Knuckleheads. Um, so just a big thanks to Gil and Steph for going to so much trouble um, and giving away so much of their time and worldly goods to uh, <laughs> to make this an enjoyable event. So I'm sure you'll all join me in uh, a big thank you for those guys. You are welcome. So that's it for another week. Uh, what's the next um, the next event, Gil? I do apologise, I've not checked. I'm not really sure. There's nothing announced yet, so um, just have to check our site out a bit. Yep, guys, check uh, knuckleheads.dk regularly, and um, we'll see you at the next event very soon. Yeah, I'll see you soon.